All right. In this geek tip, I'd like to show you how to use remote desktop connection, and I'm going to use it on my netbook. Um, right now, I would like to show you that uh, I'm on my netbook right now with the uh, screen resolution of 1366 by 768. That's why we have a, a, a sort of a wide rectangular video this time. Uh, also, another thing. I want to point out is right now I am uh, completely wireless um, disabled the wired connection and I'm running completely uh, wireless at uh, the wire G standard which is 54 megabits so so right now I would like to uh, start up remote desktop connection give you an idea of uh, the interface here we'll go into the options and uh, I've uh, got a domain here at the house so that you'll see the username is uh, uh, preceded by the domain name so that's uh, one of the uh, tricks for getting this computer on to uh, access into my domain without it actually being a member of the domain so uh, display options we can actually bring in the full-size display with 32-bit color we can bring in all the res uh, local resources of the local computer since we are local and we have a very wide bandwidth uh, we can do that uh, we can have programs start up when we log in um, since, like I said before, we are logged in locally, we are connected locally, I should say, we, uh, I've actually uh, enabled the uh, fastest settings possible. If I was connecting through a VPN uh, remotely from, you know, miles away, I would probably drop it down and uh, drop some of these foo-foo uh, kind of items. But uh, since I'm local, I'm going to go ahead and utilize it all. I'm going to suck the bandwidth right out of my network. What the hey. So let's go back here and uh, let's hit connect. It's going to prompt me from password. And here we go. Log in to my my desktop system. This is actually uh, Windows 7 64-bit and uh, right now we're connected into it. Let me show you some of the, the, the things we can do. We, we can do anything. We can run any program that is installed on the remote computer. Go ahead and uh, I'll say if I want to uh, Bring up any program that's in here. SQL Server, and we can bring up, you know, Visual Studio. Ah, you know, we can do anything. We can work completely remote from here. So, I uh, I had to take off the icons off my second screen because when you log in you only have one screen and it logs into your primary screen and if you have another screen off to the side someplace it pulls everything on that screen over to the primary so instead of having all my icons wiped out on all screens I just took the right side icons and put them over here into a folder on the left side <laughs> so uh, but yeah you know, I can open up any program on here oh open up my uh, mail washing program and I can check my mail you know, I can I can do anything I can re work remotely on this system anywhere in my house you know with the same visual graphics working remotely I may not be able to do that I would have to probably uh, dumb down or slow, you know, drop down some of the settings to get the same quality. But uh, this is a, a nice little idea um, if you have a netbook and you would like to be able to uh, do.
do something a little bit more with it. Netbooks don't have a heck of a lot of power, so uh, trying to run Photoshop on a netbook is kind of uh, ridiculous. But if you do a remote desktop connection, you could run Photoshop, you could run AutoCAD, you could run you know, 3D Studio Max if you wanted to. Um, you can do almost anything through a remote desktop connection. Whatever the remote computer can do, you can do. So, this and other geek tips are available over at uh, geeksofphoenix.com. Just click on the geek tips tab on the uh, menu and uh, find a whole bunch more over there. Till next time.